baby. You hear that? Yeah, me neither. It's very quiet out here. So we're at the spot. I've driven past this lake before. Uh, there's nobody here, so uh, there's a few holes that people have been drilling. I've never ice fished before, so we picked up an auger, ice fishing rod, and uh, we're hopefully gonna catch some fish. And uh, later on, we'll change locations and find a spot to camp, so let's get to it. So, not sure how one picks an ice fishing spot. That's the one right there. Let's give this thing a whirl. Never done this before. Those are very sharp. Whew, it's a workout. Only 8.30 a.m. This is where you enter that SpongeBob quote. I understand why people buy the electric ones. Oh, we're through. We've hit water, yes. All right. Hopefully we get some fish here, cause ah, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Invest in a scoop. Invest in a scoop. Ah, can't do that. Uh, oh man, that is cold. I wish I was able to, uh, I mean, I could camp out here. I could camp on this lake. This ice has got to be close to a foot thick. Unless you could probably drive on here, but. I just got my truck out of the shop. I'm not about to sink it at the bottom of the lake. <sighs> How could you resist that? Geronimo. All right, it's been about half hour. No bites, no action. I did bring these Berkley's uh, earthworms. They're not alive or anything, but they're pretty nasty, slimy. I honestly don't have that much longer in me. I'm freezing. out here nearly four hours I've had a few bites so uh, I'm gonna give it about 15 20 minutes and I gotta go warm up all right I cannot bear to sit still any longer so I'm gonna pack up head back to the truck and warm up and then we're gonna drive a bit see if we can find a spot Get a fire going, set up camp. All right, so we're still driving, uh, looking for a place we can set up. Uh, the problem is, is this road gets plowed in the winter, so the snow banks are still really high. So there's not a lot of places to pull off. So I've got a few options. There's also a few wreck sites along this road, which are kind of accessible. So that might be the play, but uh, I'll drive a little bit further. We'll find somewhere. 
All right, I was driving by and there's this just huge log pile. Uh, wood's, uh, wood's expensive these days, so I'm actually gonna grab some scraps, throw them in the back of the truck, save them for a rainy day. Just a quick load. Whew. I'm sweating now. ideal spot I was dreaming of but I mean there's nothing wrong with it We've got a picnic table there's a fire pit rec site will do just fine and so this is actually a lake as well uh, so I mean I could try fishing it I mean it's a beautiful day it is just about three o'clock so Still got time. That's kind of what I expected. Let's set up camp. I saw these earlier. These are uh, cattails. I've never tried starting a fire with one, but I see people do it. Oh. Jesus. I guess that's why they're flammable. Jeez, man. Oh my God. All right. pretty cool <laughs> all right watch your eyebrows all right that was getting out of hand it's not working for me so we're going fire starters wind is killing me. All right, now that that fire is burning, let's prep some dinner. Tonight we're having Dutch oven nachos. I've never done this, but uh, I don't know how bad it could go really. pepper, aroma, tomato, jalapeno, chips, cheese, veggies, beef, chips, cheese, veggies, beef. I might just do an early-ish dinner. It's like five, five o'clock. I'm pretty hungry. So let's get this fire cooking hot. Chips, layer of cheese, beef, lots of veggies. Whew. 
All right, the big reveal. Look at those. There's no other way to cook nachos now. This is amazing. Pretty clean to me. All right, that's gonna be it for the day. It's eight o'clock. You know the drill, we'll burn the rest of the wood, enjoy the fire, stay warm. And we'll see you in the morning. It snowed last night. Not a lot, but definitely snowed out. coming across this lake is brutal. I wasn't staying, if I was staying longer, I'd be changing locations. But let's get a coffee going, we'll get some breakfast going real quick, then pack up, and get out of here. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna go fishing. Why not? See, I wake up any morning and you know, ask me what I want. It's no questions. Eggs and bacon. Oh yeah. Perfect. fire is going to be burning good. I just tossed the rest of the wood on. So clean up and uh, head back to the lake. Might try a different lake on that road. We'll see. All right, we're all cleaned up. So let's make our way back to the other lakes.
right, we're not out here for long this morning, so let's get down to uh, get down to business. Brass tacks. <sighs> All right. Well, I can only jig a hole so long before my toes are gonna fall off. So we're gonna try our luck one more time back at the original lake and then we'll call it. All right, this is the hole that I was at yesterday. Let's see uh, how frozen it is. Pretty frozen. Oh, woo! <laughs> Sweet. I'm not gonna fish this for long. <laughs> First cast. Oh, hey. That's not much. It's no trophy fish, but that's something, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and there he goes, back down the hole. All right, let's see if we can get one a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, I think this is a good one. Oh my god, dude, I dropped him down the hole and I threw my hand down there and grabbed him. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. I ripped, I broke the line. The hook's still in his mouth. <sighs> that is an Eastern brook trout if I've ever seen one. I just soaked my hands to get him. Yes. What a beautiful fish. goes. Last cast. All right guys, I was literally leaving, pulling my line out and boom, he hit it. That was a nice fish. So I'm completely satisfied now. We're going to Head back to the truck and uh, yeah, we're going to drive home with a big smile on my face. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>